What the hell are those things? Is Casca up ahead? Yes. She's down below. This way. Mandragora village to get the heart of a great tree. What? Didn't I just tell you he is a ruthless tyrant? So why? I need him. That thug knows something. If he has a drug that can cure her, I need to take a chance. A cure? In his castle. He runs a lab to create a cure. I need the drug that he's making. But you have no proof he's telling the truth. Dunteth! If it is true, we might be able to save our boy. We need Balzac's research if we are going to bring him back to us, just as he says. Even if he is a devil, we need him. <sighs> that may well be true. But I just can't accept it. Damn it! How can we rely on one who oppresses us? <gasps> this town of ours, its bricks are the bones of our ancestors. Its mortar, their blood and brains. Just think of that. <gasps> That's just plain silly. What? To let your fates be decided by all this talk of ancestors' blood. To let the past tie you down. The present belongs to the living, not the dead. Are you going to trade this child's future for the past? Rita, that's just the way it is. People are bound by the spilled blood of ancestors. That's wrong. People are individuals. They can be free, not bound by anything. They can go wherever the wind takes them. You... You have no family, do you? No. Rita, you're still young. There will come a time when you'll shed blood for your own cause. I just hope that it's something worthy of that blood. Huh. Rita? Puck, I've always depended only on myself. No one else using my own strength or taming me. No one to love. Then job. That Mandragoran guy was... <laughs> he followed me because I fed him. I was surprised at first. But he was really childlike. Always smiling, laughing, even though he didn't understand. I can't believe that now he's gone. Forgive me, Rita. Oh, wow, he apologized. I can't believe it. Oh! No, it wasn't your fault. If you'd done nothing, he would have hurt that girl. It's me who should apologize. What I said earlier was horrible. Found by spilled blood, huh? You might be right about that, Rita. That's why... why you have to find something worth shedding blood for. A cause. Maybe a person. Get so. Done talking, folks. I have made my decision. I am going with you to the Great Tree to get its heart. Then we will negotiate with Balzac. We will tell him if he wants the heart. He has to give us the medicine. Do as you like. I will take your companion to where she will be safe. Wait! I don't trust you completely yet. 
Besides, I'm the only one that can take care of her. The only one that can protect her. But... Listen here, worried about creatures attacking her? If that's it, you have no worries, big man. Huh? Elves live in this spring. I'm certain of it. It's the source of the town's water. Our ancestors built a shrine here. They prayed to the spirits. Well, I can't vouch for the rest of the rooms, but this one's quite safe. No evil spirits will come here. Uh, and anyway, while you're gone, Mirkaska, I mean... There's nothing to worry about. I'll... I'll look after her. I see. Okay. Thanks, Phyllis. Keep this trouble going, you too. Hey, is that how you treat your best buddy? Mm -hmm. oh. I'm off. <laughs> it's just like having my job back. You seem so happy all the time. It's amazing. What? Ah! Oh no! The research turned out splendidly. Now with the strength of these Mandragoran fighters, we don't need to bother with the heart of the great tree. Well, I'll be. It's the young lady from before. We meet again, little lady. I must ask you to come with us, now! Oh! <laughs> 
You're a tough one, all right. But I'll send you back where you came from. Are you sure we can find a great tree in this village? We must. Oh. The ironic thing is these Mandragora zombies are more lively than we are. It's strange. So, it's all the fault of these things, huh? Stop! Huh? What is it? Must... Forgive me. Tell my wife and son... Damn it!
the Mandragora you uprooted to the Earth. What? You're... You must be the nun who looks after them. I am Ariza. Why such senseless killing? These children have done nothing. They are harmless as long as you don't attack them. And yet you... Uh, but I... Balzac's troops came down. They attacked the hideout, and they took Casca. He said, if you want her back, you have to bring the heart. Bastard! Okay, sister. You heard her. Where's the tree? <sighs> hey! There used to be a boy named Nico. He was simple-minded, and he sometimes disturbed the crops. But he was a good boy at heart. Gentle. He would never hurt another person. Even when the villagers teased him, threw stones at him, or beat him with sticks, Nico was just happy for the gift of life. He marveled at a sunny sky, and no matter what his misfortune, he was always smiling. Today, Nico was on the brink of death from hunger. The crops had failed that year. Not a single person would give him any food. With the last of his strength, Nico managed to crawl to the church. But I didn't even notice him. The sound of the door opening was drowned out by the New Year's bell. When I found him, he was... Never did a thing wrong. He was just a little different from the others. Why was he treated so cruelly, so callously? Why did Nico have to die? He was the purest, the sweetest boy you could ever hope to meet. So are all these Mandragorans here, right? Enough lives already. Just back there, I wiped out my entire party. That's because you unwittingly broke a taboo. The Mandragorans will never attack anyone unless you pull up one of their saplings or try to harm them. But most people hound them, call them monsters, push them out. And Balzac, he says it's for the town's sake. He hunts them, captures them, takes their lives as though they were insects. I think people who can only show their fear and ambition through violence are the hardest souls to save. They see everything as a threat. Please, spare this village. I beg you, leave us alone. We are happy with the way things are. But if we don't do anything, the Mandragorans will just keep spreading. I don't think you'll find anyone who wants to become one. Really? But I want to. Listen, the people in that town, or the people in this village, let me ask you, who do you think is happier? Huh? Pride, sadness, anger, ambition. Or, perhaps, love and affection. Who is happier? Those who suffer with those same emotions that cause us to repeat our blood-soaked history? Or those who, though odd-looking, are free from that? Smiling and laughing like children. Simple, true emotions. 
Well, what do you think? I... I... <laughs> hey. If they look different, and their hearts are different, then they are not human. <sighs> it's true. Humans are greedy and vicious. So then you agree with me? No, sorry. You see, I'm a human. I don't mind spilling blood to get what I want. Sorry if that shocks you and ruins your plans, but I'm taking the heart of the great tree with me. Just quietly hand it over. Don't try anything, sister. Guts? Oh. <laughs> you think you managed to kidnap Casca, but you forgot about little old me. <laughs> Puck to the rescue! That old guy, I knew we could never trust him. <gasps> I told you I'm not a toy. Well, anyway, we better get out of here soon. If those guards find me in here, we'll both be killed. Huh? Oh no! Yikes! Arr, don't touch her! Get away! Stop! Oh! oh no, something very bad. is real trouble. Look, Casca. Our lucky break. What's that noise there? Let's get out of here, Casca, or they'll find us. Cut soon, but this is right where we were before. close oh. 
Huh? That girl. This is Balzac's wife, right? And this must be his daughter. She looks just like her mother. But how could such a scary dad have such a sweet daughter? I guess the apple fell far from that tree. Or she was just plain lucky. Oh no, they're here! What do we do? this room <gasps> what the heck how creepy is that hey hang on oh Casca don't touch what are you doing there you leave that heart alone it's mine
see. I didn't notice because there were so many around. But you're a man recurring too. You just don't understand. 